All right, so this is Magic's Movie Editor Pro Premium, and this is the 2018 version. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to activate hardware encoding. So when I first got this program, it was incredibly slow uh, when you wanted to export files. So let's go over here and export. So export movie, MPEG-4. This is a three minute movie I've got here. It's at 1920 by 1080, 23 frames per minute or per second, uh, 28,000 kilobits with a max of 50,000 kilobits. Uh, I do have calculate video effects on GPU check marked. I think it speeds it up, but I can't quite tell. Uh, it won't in this case though, because I don't have hardware encoding. And let's change the name and hit okay. So, as you can see up here on top, it says no hardware encoding. So right now it's not working for me. Um, 11 seconds, 12 seconds have gone by and I've got, you know, oh, here it slows down. So I was doing pretty good there to start with, so we'll see. Uh, but this is going to take me for a three minute video. I'm probably looking at almost an hour to encode this, even though it's saying seven or eight minutes. That's not going to be true. You can even see the seconds kind of slowed down there. Um, Right now we've got a minute, or we've got 30 seconds coming up here, and we've got 10 seconds of video. So it's going to take it a long time, uh, even though it's super optimistic right now, saying 10 minutes. Uh, if you're using Magic Movie Editor Pro, though, you know that exporting takes forever if you have no hardware encoding. So, um, yeah, so now we're coming up on a minute, and I have 12 seconds of video recorded. So it's not going to be fast. Uh, one minute is 13 seconds. All right, and let's go ahead and close this down. And yes, I do want to cancel that export. And I'll go ahead and shut this screen here. Now, if I right click over here, notice I have just the NVIDIA control panel. So I have no other options open right now. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my computer, and I'll walk you guys through on what I'm plugging in on the back of the computer. And then I will reboot with hardware encoding. Uh, you are going to have to down some, download some new drivers, possibly. I did, and uh, I'll leave some links in the description for where I went for that. But it c should also do it automatically. As soon as you go in there and say, you know, find drivers, let it find it on the Internet, it, it found it for me just fine. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. So we're now looking at the back side of my computer, and you can see that, you know, I've unplugged one of these little black covers. So the computer came with two of these in there, and I've pulled the one that I needed to out of there. But uh, this is your HDMI, and then this is your, I don't know what the other one's called, but uh, I'm using either HDMI or this one, doesn't really matter. But I'm now going to go ahead and use these instead of using my graphics card down here. So I can run three mon monitors off my graphics card, but... In order to get Magix to recognize this, I'm now going to plug one into here. This is now going to reboot. It's going to bring up this as my primary monitor. I'll still have my secondary monitor on my graphics card. All right, so my computer's back up and running here, and I've rebooted it. I've plugged it in to the display port in the back of the computer, and I now have it running off of my NVIDIA graphics card as well as the Intel 4600 uh, graphics processor. So let's go over here and export a movie. Same one that we had before, MPEG-4, 1920 by 1080, 23.976 frames per second, 20,000 kilobits, same exact stuff. Change the name here and hit OK. So now uh, let's see here. It's selling me two minutes, three minutes. That's a little bit insane. It's going to take about eight minutes uh, is what it'll actually take to do this. Uh, but right now, 14 seconds have gone by, and I have 14 seconds of movie time recorded. So it's almost running uh, you know, pretty close. To it. Normally, it's about a two-to-one. So if I have a six-minute video, it's going to take me probably 12 minutes to do it. Uh, but as you can see, it's, it's screaming along now, comparatively. Uh, I would not go out and purchase a NVIDIA graphics card. I wouldn't waste my time or energy on that. Uh, I think Magix has designed this to only work with the Intel graphics processor that's already on board most computers. So they're kind of going for that low-end uh, consumer that doesn't have anything special on their computer, which is annoying for those of us that have spent money on a graphics card and uh, 
have a, a fairly good computer, it's it's going to basically slow it right up. So, uh, and my computer is nothing special. I have a you know i7 fourth gen, uh, noth- nothing extreme, but it's running this way faster than you would get with your you know because right now we're at a minute and I have 48 seconds of of movie time recorded already, and you can see the bar is going to be done you know super quick compared to the first run with no grab with no hardware encoding. Uh, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Don't waste your money on the you know big giant graphics cards because I don't think it does anything for Magic's whatsoever. Uh, and I actually find that running a two-screen setup has been worked really well. So right now one of my screens is running off of the NVIDIA graphics card, and then this main screen that you're seeing now is running off of the Intel uh, chipset. So let's go ahead and cancel out of this here real quick. And yes, I want to quit. And then I'll shrink that. And then now if I right click, you'll see that I have a graphics properties window and a graphics options window, which is change the buttons. But uh, if you hit control, alt, shift, or F12, that'll bring this up, which is your Intel HD graphics control panel. And this updated when I updated my drivers. I'll leave a link to where I kind of found this, but uh, it's been a while since I did this, but I, I think this just updated automatically when I updated my drivers. So options and support. Go over here to Information Center, and you can see that I have an Intel R Core i7-4770 CPU, 3.4 gigahertz, and then important part here is processor graphics in use is Intel HD Graphics 4600. And like I said, this is running one of my monitors. The other monitor is still on my NVIDIA. Uh, I'm not a big gamer, so I don't know how this will affect that. You m- might have to actually undo this every time you want to play games. Uh, for better, you know, speeds and optimization. But if you want to use Magix, you need to. So as soon as I shut down my computer at this point and unplug that uh, Display Port, it is going to revert to not using hardware encoding. So if you want hardware encoding running, you need to be using that Intel plugin on the back side of your computer that's going to go to the graphics processor. Uh, but uh, hopefully it's helpful. Subscribe, like. Thanks for watching.